This was by far the worst day of this man's life. Meet Nicole. She was beautiful, kind, talented, but Nicole had a secret. You see, ever since Nicole was a little girl, she wanted to be the next Whitney Houston. Now, after a few years of trying, she realized the solo act wasn't working out, so she decided to start a band. So she found a bass guy, a guitarist, an amazing drummer. She said, I'll be the lead singer, and they went on the road. And as the shows got bigger, her and the band became like family. They did everything together. They go bowl and hit up restaurants. Sometimes in small towns, they'd sleep in the same room. Every so often, when Nicole would have hard times or miss back home, she would vent in the corner to Ronnie, the drummer. Because they could talk about anything, eventually Nicole and Ronnie became best friends. After a few more years on the road, Nicole got lonely, so she decided to get into a relationship. Then along came Chris. He was her perfect match. They liked the same food, the same movies. She laughed at every one of Chris's jokes. Till eventually one day, Chris popped the question and asked Nicole to marry him. Of course she said yes, as long as I don't have to give up the band. Chris said, no problem. I met you in the band. The band is like family. This wedding was special to Chris. It was his grandma's last wish to be at his wedding before she died. Now, the band was indifferent because they was happy for Nicole, but they also didn't want to lose their lead singer. Now, Ronnie was especially mad because he knew their friendship would change once she married. Finally, the wedding day came. It was beautiful. Doves, cakes, the dress, everything a woman could dream of. Nicole and her band even performed as the main event. Everyone was in attendance, including grandma. And Chris was the happiest man alive until the next day. You see, the next day came and a wedding party decided to throw a brunch. And at the brunch, a phone started buzzing, so everybody looked. It was the best man's phone, so he got up to take the call. Everyone but the bride and groom was there having a great time. But the best man's energy made the mood of the entire wedding party change. On the other line of the best man, it was the groom screaming at the top of his lungs. And while everybody was scrambling, asking what's going on, there was one person with no expression. Ronnie. You see, that morning before the brunch, Nicole had a conversation with Chris. Then Nicole said, I don't want to begin this chapter of my life with a lie. Me and Ronnie have been sleeping together for the past few years and I want to cut him off now that we're married. Chris's heart dropped, his eyes went cold and he felt betrayed. He said, I should have known about this before we married. He said, I'm filing for divorce immediately after I kick Ronnie's ass. In a rage, Chris stormed downstairs to where the wedding party was and he immediately attacked Ronnie. Everyone is screaming and through all the commotion, Chris's grandma has a heart attack and falls on the floor. And to make matters worse, Ronnie the drummer beat up Chris the groom and won the fight. And he didn't just beat him, he mopped the floor with his ass. The paramedics tried to revive Chris's grandma, but she died that day. After all the smoke cleared, Chris laid there trying to pick up his remaining dignity and immediately filed for divorce. And the sad part is, the wedding party sat there and said, we can never tell Chris how great his wedding was.